now I've got all the wood machined up for the flag frame and I can't film that because uh, it's in somebody else's workshop and it's not really nice, very nice to start filming in their workshop but they very kindly lent me uh, their machines for a, uh, an hour or so. I have my wide belt sander down there so they do me a favour and let me use a couple of their machines but I've got all of it uh, machined up now flat and thickness down to the right size and I've ended up with three or four bits here left over so what I'm going to do is make a little surprise coffee table for the client he's already paid for the wood so I might as well knock up something for him and I'll make another video out of that so I've got to make moulds for them now which I've ordered the um, material for they're going to be very big three meters long three meter long moulds so I'm going to have to make them in here I'll cut all the bit, bits and pieces somewhere else and I'll bring all the pieces in here clean and taped already silly me um, these are two different colors so the um, and I put them uh, I put them together and obviously they're going to seep through the two so I've had to move this rail down and put one in in the middle um, to separate the two and then silicon round it doing some fractal burning on on these bits of walnut um, it's really really dangerous um, if you don't know what you're doing don't attempt to make yourself a machine or anything like that uh, yourself I'm not going to show you uh, how I made it because I think that's uh, irresponsible but I'll show you the results on the bit of wood as it happens it looks cool but it's extremely dangerous so don't try this at home <laughs>
the bloody size of it. That's got to go on his wall. to be 